What's going on you guys? I'm bringing you another great game from our online league, online my NBA, my NBA eras, whatever you want to call it. And today in Canada, it's Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to my fellow Canadians. <laughs> And if you haven't known, I'm from Montreal in Canada, basically where Lou Dort is from, where Chris Boucher is from in the NBA. So if you haven't heard of Montreal, it's a great city in Canada. One of the most, um, I think it's, uh, it was voted a top city in Canada. Toronto, Montreal, and uh, yeah, I think those were the top two, if I'm not mistaken. But this was from a while back, so I don't know <laughs> the current rankings or whatever. But point is, happy Thanksgiving to all my fellow Canadians today. And I'm going to get right back into this gameplay. So my opponent has a really great team. If you watched the starting lineups, he has DeJounte Murray and Zach Levine as his first two picks. And then he rounded it out with some young, nice young talent. He had Chet Holmgren and he also drafted Paolo. So those are... He has a really nice team, to be honest. I didn't expect them to play as good as they did in this game because, you know, usually rookies don't perform that well. But in this game, they kind of surprised me. Paolo and Chet, they were both, you know, doing what they had to do. You know, Chet was being such a beast, you know, down low, getting the rebounds, the blocks, and Paolo was scoring from all over the court. So in this gameplay, I'm going to show you guys some defensive sequences. Um, you saw one earlier. I'm going to show you some wide open misses. I'm going to show you some dunks, some threes, everything that you can imagine. <laughs> As you can see, Chet Holmgren gets a nice block. Capella gets a nice putback right there. So this game has a little bit of everything, um, which is why I decided to upload it. It was also a very close game, so it's very exciting until the very end. So I suggest watching all the way through. So the first quarter wasn't too high scoring. We were only at 11 points, I think, midway through the first. Because like I said, both teams are very great defensively. Like I said, he has Chet down low. He also has DeJounte Murray and Paolo. So both of them are really good on the wings. So it's really tough to score. And he as well, he tried to go for a fancy dunk right there. So Kelly Oubre goes all the way into the paint. I think I'm going to do a drop set right here. There you go. Because this gameplay was from a couple of days ago, so I don't really remember uh, vividly the highlights, but it's never too late to upload a great game. So a nice double screen right there. I'm going to dance with James Harden. Nice signature dribble, but he misses the dunk, and he's going to go all the way with his squad. He's going to pull up for three right there, and he greens it. So I was pretty surprised he was greening consistently with, with Paolo and other... other <laughs> woo, can't even... Uh, do my commentary right now i'm too excited so he can't even wow bro i should cut this but i'm not i like doing my commentaries in one shot because i feel like it's more fun that way and i get to improve so like i was mentioning i was surprised that he was able to knock down threes consistently with paolo i didn't expect them to be that great of a shooter on this game so at this point, he is up by two points. I'm going to run a screen and roll with Dan Gafford. I'm going to switch directions with James Harden. Beautiful dribble moves and change of direction. But Chet Holmgren blocks two shots. So like I said, Chet Holmgren is being a beast in this game. And he's going to get rewarded with the dunk right here. His size is too much for my team because my team is kind of small. And Chet is about 7'3 or 7'2. Wiggins gets a nice clean look, but I miss. And speaking of size, if you think Chad Holmgren is a beast, if you guys have seen Victor, I can't even say his last name, when, when them, <laughs> uh, you know who I'm talking about, Victor Wen Banyan, I can't say his name, last name, but the, um, the beast that's going to be the number one pick in next year's draft, along with Scoot Henderson, Victor, imagine <laughs> Chet, but taller and more skilled. So that's what Victor is. I watched the G League games and everyone is impressed with, with, uh, with Victor. So honestly, like people are saying, the championship next year is not the team that wins the championship. It's going to be the team that gets the number one pick in the draft. <laughs> that's what I've been seeing in the comments. So whoever gets that number one pick, man, they're going to be really, really set as long as Victor stays healthy. Victor is going to be a game changer, a generational talent. It's not too often you see a 7'5 or 7'4 dude that could do everything. Defense, offense, he could dribble, he could shoot. Basically a 7'4 KD with a defense of a Rudy Gobert. So 
number one and number two picks. Even Scoot Henderson is a great, great player. So both of them are going to be very helpful <laughs> and game, or should I say dynasty changing for whoever drafts them next year. So I'm not going to run too much. Look at this crazy shot that he made. That fling shot is so OP on 2K. Every year that fling shot goes in against me so many times. I don't know how, but that fling shot is way too overpowered. <laughs> So it's a one point game, like I said, this is a very close game throughout, so Andrew Wiggins goes coast to coast, he gets fouled. I think I missed both three throws, but he tries to get a long pass through. Dylan Brooks, wide open corner three, I miss it. That's a shot we should be knocking down, but like I said, this is still an early game of the season, we're both learning our shots. But still, I thought that shot was going to go in because uh, James Harden has gold floor general and gold dimer. And nice alley-oop right here. That was beautiful. And Dylan Brooks has corner specialist on silver. So I thought those shots were going to go in. But anyways, back to the gameplay. He tries to get a facial. Pause. Andrew Wiggins gets fouled once again. I really love Wiggins. Every time I drive to rim, good thing happens. So I should do that more often. A lot of times I settle for, I settle for the three-point shot. But I should be going into the paint more consistently with Wiggins. And James Harden has takeover. Our whole team has team tape right now. So good timing. We could extend this lead going into the fourth. Zach Levine says, <laughs> I could get a dunk right back. Double clutch with Levine. It's back to a tie game. Wiggins back into the paint. 41 to 39. We take a two point lead. So he's going to run a screen and roll right there. He tries to lob it. Our team gets the interception. Kelly Oubre is all by himself. I thought he was going to get a strip right there, but he didn't, thankfully. So beautiful screen by Gafford, but I didn't use it. And James Harden gets the layup. Sometimes I like to use misdirection, which is what I did on the previous play. Gafford gets into the paint. They doubled Isaiah Thomas. I signed IT off the free agency, by the way. Because I need a third ball handler when Lowry and Harden gets tired so Isaiah Thomas can play a couple of minutes to buy them some time. And Danny Green misses the open three to end the third. So it's a six point lead but no lead is comfortable in this game. It's very easy to lose it. Murray with the nice behind the back dribble. I didn't expect that was a nice move to get free. So it's back to a four point game. Kyle Lowry uses the nice screen and he drains the three. That's realistic, Kyle Lowry always does that, calls for screen, drops behind, pops a three. So it's back to a five point game. I'm going to find Lowry again in the corner, they leave him wide open. Their defense gets confused and I did like a spinning three point shot, I caught it and released it immediately. That was beautiful, it's back to an eight point game but Paolo gets a nice spin and one. So it reduces the lead to six. So Lowry again is open, they leave him, they're playing my screen, so Lowry decides to pull it. And like I said, he has clutch shooter, so those three point shots come in very handy. So it's a nine point game, those three point shots by Lowry extended it to nine and Harden brings it up to 11. But like I said, no lead is safe, you still gotta play. Play serious, Lowry, ah, I missed that. But Capella gets the O board. I didn't talk for a second there because I was trying to figure out what play I was running. Because some plays I don't remember what they were. <laughs> sometimes they're random. Sometimes I call them myself. And woo! Nice and one right there to cut the lead down to six. So a missed three point shot by Lowry to an and one. Makes this a close game once again. Zach Levine with a fading three. He misses. He gets the offensive rebound. Our defense loses Levine and you can't do that because Levine is a deadly shooter and the lead is cut back down to three. So isolation, jab step, another jab step, triple threat move, beautiful. Zach Levine got stunned. If you see that, Zach Levine got stunned there. And that's what made Harden get into the paint. Zach Levine comes right back with his own dunk though. <laughs> He's not going to be outmatched. So James Harden gets a nice screen, but I dribbled it off his foot. That was a bad play by me. So he has an opportunity to tie the basketball game. So he didn't call a timeout. He's going to go freestyle it. And that's usually 
a good thing to do so the defense doesn't get set. Zach Levine does some dribble moves. We stay with him. Perfect defense. So far, he gets into the paint. He kicks it out for a three-point shot. Pretty good look, but we contest it. And he gets the offensive rebound. So he has another chance to tie this basketball game. He's going to go to Zach Levine on the wing. He fades in the corner. And he misses. So he had two pretty decent looks to tie the basketball game. So it was a pretty nail biter, you know we were up 11, he cut the lead down and he had a chance to tie it, so good game to my opponent. Here are the box scores and I'm going to show you guys the team stats for the game. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like and a comment I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.